How's it going, everybody? I am Donut, and we are reading some more Kaiji. Tobaku Datunoku Kaiji. 24 Oku Dashutsu. The 2.4 billion escape arc. It's been a while. Why am I giving every title? I don't know. Because I'm excited to get back into this. Um, last time we left off, we had the whole, uh, you know, as this thing says, long-lasting banquet finally draws to a close. Having successfully exchanged vans, they and the Ishitaka Kizaki duo bid each other farewell. Is how it should have gone, but wait, what's this? Kaiji and Groom make a split-second U-turn? So, we're coming back, we're going to talk to, I believe it was Kizaki, who is the real estate agent, self-employed real estate agent. Seems to know a lot about this stuff. Maybe through a connection to, and I think through a connection to him, we can do it normally. But we can rent a house. We just have to get the, um, whatever it's called, the moving out certificate or whatever like that. We have to get that mailed to us. So, uh, yeah, about to get a house. Uh, this is uh, probably the most excited I am for an arc in a long, long time. I, you know, I, I know they're going to get a house. I, I guess I'm a little spoiled on that. I know they're going to get a house. Um, and, uh, it's the most I've ever seen anybody talk about part six. Like, I, when this was happening, I feel like everybody was fucking talking about part six. Everybody was loving it. So, I'm very excited because I already really love part six of Kaiji. It's my favorite part by far. Like, it's not even close. It is monumentally better than every other part of Kaiji. So, I am extremely, extremely excited for more, uh, hopefully, casual stuff. With the Asian trio, just chilling, living in a house together, having a good old gay time. Let's jump into this. Also, I might read the chapters like this with the full page now. Or I might still zoom in, but uh, I don't really think Kaiji needs too much zooming in. It's pretty, you know, clear what's going on pa panel to panel. They're very big panels, and the text is very, very readable. Versus, I don't really have a problem with that. So, we'll give it a shot for like one chapter, see how I feel. Okay, I forgot to say it in the video, but uh, if you want some music to listen to in the background, I would recommend 90s Japanese Underground Hip Hop Mix Volume 2. Throw it on the background, turn it down quite drastically, uh, and then put my reaction on over top of it, and uh, good to go. That's the music we're going to listen to this time, so sync it up and come back. I love just seeing them, like, reel back. Like, I can't fucking believe what we've been doing all this shit when we could have just rented a fucking house. Oh, but can Tei find that out somehow? Can Tei know... That we rented a house? <laughs> yeah. Didn't you say your van is your one and only home? Don't be stupid. I'm done sleeping on a van. Fuck this shit. I want a house. <sighs> but yeah. Not fully enough space. I mean, it's still nice. I really want a camper van. But it's nice to have a house to come back to. I actually just had a therapy session where one of the questions was like, if you get a three wishes in the entire world, what would it be? And you weren't supposed to overthink it too much. One of the very first things that came to my mind was, I just want a camper van or an RV, like more more an RV than a camper van. But uh, still, like it surprised me that I wanted one that much. But I do, I really, really want one. But again, at the same time, them just having their own house, even better. All right, it's gonna show us a couple places. Hell yeah! What can do about that trip of yours? Hmm. They don't want to do it. Yeah, I'll put that on the back burner for now. <laughs> And now he's going to get mad. Like, you could have just drank with us then. All right, we'll be neighbors from here on out. <laughs> That's so cool. Like, they were so, you know, so depressed about them leaving. Or well, really, you know, Ishitaka was extremely depressed about them leaving. But now, we're just going to be neighbors. I mean, not exactly. In the neighborhood, probably. Hmm. Did you just say they should come, out, come by whenever they want? So, what's the big deal? Yeah, what's the point of we seeing each other every day? I can't believe I cried about it like a dumbass. Uh, I can't believe these two are just going to be extremely... Like, the fact that these two are our heaviest reoccurring characters in Part 6. Still, never would have guessed. I don't think we'll ever stop being insane. Alright, we're going to drink till we drop today. And then, day four, this treat goes on. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. we got to get the house first. But Kaiji's the one who's saying, don't stop there. Let's go for our fifth, sixth, seventh, I mean, eighth. But no, we gotta get the house first, guys. We gotta get the house first. He said us had one day a week for detox. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> oh my god, everybody's so excited. I'm so excited. We're gonna have a place to call our own. Mm -hmm. I wonder how fast we're gonna do this. I've been rereading through a lot of part six, actually. And it was crazy to me how fast we got this dilapidated building. Like, we just kind of, like, 
cut to it, and then we kind of explained how we got it. I wonder how we're going to do this house. Damn, yeah, he seems to be doing well for himself. He's got an actual, like, physical location and everything like that. Condominiums and apartments, out of the question. So, yeah, one avoid contact with our neighbors. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, single homes are the answer. Single house, which has parking space for the newly acquired camper van. Yeah, that's important as well. And, yeah, like, this is, like, not a big deal, but it's it's the kind of thing where they are all extremely paranoid, so they don't want to meet anybody that they don't have to. And, plus, they've got that poor aesthetic, so that people would be like, how are they affording this place? You've got, it's three guys living in one house, and this is Japan, so you're going to get a lot of bigots there. It's, it's needless complications that we don't want to have. And yeah, normally it matters by the cost of rent, followed by the layout, then the size, whether it is a new building or an old one. After that comes matters of convenience, such as distance from the stations and convenience stores, plus the surrounding environment, whether it's in a residential area or commercial district, and whether there are parks, hospitals, department stores, federal offices, and other public facilities sufficiently accessible. But yeah, they will decide what you need to be the new home. But, uh, so... Hmm, these are all merely secondary backup considerations. Then there's something else that takes precedence over all else. So, like, what what are we looking for here in our house? Because, like, yeah, most of this we don't fucking need. Like, we need a single home with enough space for the camper van. That is a guaranteed we need that. But price doesn't matter. Size doesn't matter, really, I don't think. Like, it, it, it matters a little bit, but not that much. Um, a new building or old one doesn't really matter. Convenience stuff is... Uh, convenience stuff... I guess it doesn't really matter, but it would be nice to be next to some convenience stores, but it's not exactly necessary. Um, the park is already close enough. We already know that because of the dog park. Uh, hospital's not necessary. Department, like, I mean, again, it would be nice, but we got a camper and we got a car. We got somebody that can drive, so it's not super important. We're not, like, taking Ubers and stuff. It's not that important. So what is important? Something near a bank, maybe, in order to do that? Or, um, hmm, I don't know what, what else is important. Have a look at the first place. Okay. To them, this is something that takes priority over convenience and environment. This is something, hmm, security. Right. So, okay, just, just, yeah, uh, how crime-proof it is. Like, yeah, a, a way that would, hey, I can't, you know, fuck with them. That's a good, okay, okay, I understand now. So, duplex locks, surveillance cameras, perhaps even motion-activated flashlights to turn on in the case of intrusion. The likes of these do not matter to them. Okay, so that's not what they're looking for. They're looking for physical safety, like like this. And this is almost the exact kind of house they were looking for with that garage type and everything. But, um, like the wall here are they looking for, the gate, and like, what, what, what specifically? Concern lies elsewhere. Escape methods, driving away. It's a new building, plus neighborhood's nice too. It's got six rooms. Damn, this is so, like, I am loving this. Ah, oh, I just, the idea of them living together is so nice. The fact that we're spending so much time slowly shopping for this stuff. Like, I think I figured out why I love Part 6 Kaiji so much. Part 6 Kaiji feels like I'm reading a simulation video game. Like, there's so many, like, you know, game sims that I love to play that are, you know, like this, going through all the nitty-gritty stuff, and I love when Fukumoto does that as well. It's that combining of a simulation game with a strong narrative. Uh, extremely well done. I love shopping for a house! <laughs> but yeah, gonna pass. This one's no good. I think it's because the road. Kaiji's looking at the road out here. So what exactly are they looking for? Maybe a back exit, too? Or, like, hmm, a way to not get boxed in, I'm sure. It's built right next to a straight road. The entire street's out in fuel, full view. You can see it from distance away. If we were to be tailed by a debtor, or perhaps tailed themselves, we'd have no way to shake them off. Okay, I see. Hmm. So, yeah, they gotta find a way. Like, if they need to, they have to lose them down a back alley street or whatever. Something. But here... There's no other alleyways. It's a long, straight road, so no good. But yeah, even just finding ones that are 7 out of 10, extremely difficult. Because also, if they see a house with a camper van in it, I think we're fucked, right? A garage, I think, is, is essential. But they're not even talking about that. Okay, so the seventh house, they finally find what they're looking for. Still, only seven houses, and you guys are complaining? Are you insane? Like, I under- like, the, the, 
Most people are searching for way more houses than that just normally, and you guys have hyper-specific criteria. If this is the seventh house, like, that is crazy good luck. Don't, don't complain about that. Okay, see, so here's a nice house. And, yeah, on the first day, you found your house on the first day, you fucking guys. So, it's got five rooms, living, dining, and kitchen included. Should be enough for three of you. Mm-hmm. Okay, checking around. So, got a full run around. So, okay, here's where Kaiji is. Sitting along another street that ruins, that runs even further in, one block away. Hmm? That house is sitting along on another street that runs even further in, one block away. I don't know what he means by that, but uh, this is the house. So you come up here, but then you go inwards to get to the house. Uh, okay, it's just not visible. Hmm. So all we need to do is go around that corner, make a mad sprint, yeah, until we're home. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. They can run around all they want. They'd be a loss. So which one? They reach. Yeah, okay. So it is just. I thought it was something else, but no, this is just the thing we were talking about, you know, to, to lose them. Okay, so next, the entrance area. So, this path leading to the entrance is hidden by the shrubs and the wall next to it. Okay. Mm hmm. Makes it hard to spot whoever's entering. That's perfect, perfect. Actually, like, that's golden. Hmm. We could run all the way here from that main roadblock. Yeah, house. Yeah. So Chang's on board too. He knows. I like the Chang's also like always on our wavelength. They're close enough. Because of how narrow the road before it is, you won't be able to just park your car in one go. You'll have to move a bit back and forth. Okay. Yeah. Might be a little bit annoying, but who gives a shit? I mean, yeah. No, no. This house is perfect. Yeah. He he does not realize the kind of shit we you know we're putting up with, but it's fine. We get we, yeah. a little bit of annoyance in parking and an older house. Not really a big deal. All right, let's see the interior. All right, right inside is the toilet, then the dining room, left is the living room, the bathroom, washroom, Japanese style room, and that's it for the first floor. The second floor has four rooms, a westernmost room, ooh, right to a, a wall. It's enough to let the breeze in, but don't expect to get any sunlight. Still, that's actually perfect because, you know, people aren't like looking in on us. Oh, okay. Absolutely perfect. Didn't even think about that. You could easily escape out here if somebody came into the house. Yeah, easily retreat into the neighbor's property. Yes, yeah, so if you got raided. And this is where you want to put all your money then, I think. Mm -hmm. This is perfect. Yeah, what a perk. A lot of great options. Okay, that house is vacant too. How did we luck upon the greatest thing ever? Like, I would love to live in this house. This isn't even like just good for Kaiju. This is just good for living. <laughs> Okay, so that house is not for rent, it's for full sale. Hmm. Alright, let's go have a look at the house next door. So it's empty, which means we can also go into it and stuff like that. Cool, cool, cool. I'm loving this arc so much, you guys. <laughs> so yeah, squeeze through one at a time. Our escape room from the second floor is completely secured. Hmm. That caught Caillou's attention, saying sometimes the alley's so small only cats can go through it, but this one's fine. Okay, why is that window slightly open? Got all the fresh air indoors, yeah. Yeah, nothing to steal, so just let the air flow. <laughs> so, what stellar sloppiness, utter ingenious indulgence, or uh, indolence? Oh, yeah, I've heard that word a long time ago, I forgot about that. This is brilliant, this means we'd have even more options at our disposal. What do you mean? Hmm. But, so, if, if he just leaves this open for us, then we can get in there. I, I assumed that was going to be a thing anyway, but yeah, normally we have to, like, break the door or something like that. But, yeah, so, we can just hide out in there. Easy peasy. Thank you, Kizaki, for being lazy. <laughs> and yeah, so they really want the house, but he's like, I don't know, this is the best house for you guys. But no, trust us, it is. The ultimate secret base is born. This is what this feels like. This feels like as a kid, like getting a secret base. Like, oh my god. Fucking love this. This feels so... Uh, just, uh, this is itching all my favorite buttons. <laughs> Look, Kaiju doing a big old sprint around the whole place. Yeah, we love this one. We love this one. Please, because like, he rented us. Please, please, please. Yeah, it's it's perfect. It I truly can't believe how perfect it is. I thought there was gonna be some stuff we were gonna have to make some compromises on, but 
Okay, they immediately sign the contract. All right, I can't believe, same day, same day we were gonna depart. But also, this house is like fully empty. How are we gonna decorate it and stuff like that? I'm interested about that. All right, yeah, got a drinking party. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> Just saying, we do live in a strange, bizarre, downright wacky world. Who knows what might happen next? And then he's thinking back to that girl, Laura. That must mean, but yeah, he's thinking, I still have a chance with her. Mm-mm, mm-mm, no, not at all. <laughs> the speech bubble, but yeah, sorry, bud, it's a cabaret club. It's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen, but okay, just forget it. Man, this face, oh man. Hey, come on, cheers, you talk us on it. Do you guys remember this face? Like, old, old Fukumoto slobs, you guys remember this face. This is old school Fukumoto. That's like... 10 that is very early kaiji you know kaiji definitely made that face for oh let's see if we can find something like this oh it's not a great example it's not exactly what i was looking for but this is an example just like that older art style that he used to have so much different Ah, oh, like yeah i haven't read kaiji gaiden yet so i don't want to look up kaiji gaiden but uh, i was trying to find that specifically when he gets the the nail thing going under his uh when he gets the the needle going under his fingernail i remembered it looking a lot like that but like more in pain but uh, I can't find it now so oh well but yeah it's just such an old old art style I love it I'm glad he he knows how to do that stuff again I mean even like Ishidaka I'm not really but Ishidaka has made some faces like that like this one over here yeah spending four days with a couple people drinking the night away exalting all your conversation topics yeah not gonna have a whole lot left after this so, just rehashing the cabaret club stuff, of course. And yeah, he just keeps bringing up other girls now as well. Just just saying the same things over and over and over again. God, Ishidaka. No, she did not. She did not. <laughs> idiot, you idiot. Hmm. Okay, the end of the month's coming along. Gotta send out his products. Gonna have to actually work now. <laughs> Oh, see, the only thing waiting for me after this is Labor's cold embrace. <laughs> Love that. I actually do need to zoom in for this. Oh, yeah, at least he's keeping a close eye on the shipments. He's actually taking care of it. <sighs> yeah, now they have the house, but, uh, so, uh, now what? Hmm. Gotta decorate, right? But, I mean, like, we don't have much decorations, but you gotta decorate a little bit. You gotta do something. <laughs> gotta gotta buy at least a table or something yeah they don't stand played it they don't jesus christ plan to stay for an extended period of time maybe two to three months yeah i'd say like aim for two months but you know know they're gonna be here for like three months but gotta just condense 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 yeah man we're it feels like we're coming up on the end of the series but i don't fully believe that but now with the house there's gonna be some some things that throw us for a loop. There's gonna be some crazy shit, but still, I, I appreciate that. Like we're coming to so okay, Kaiju Two should leave the country of Japan, which is crawling with Tai's men and debtors. Like we already knew this, but I still think that he should go with Chang and Mario, and they should all go together somewhere. I want it. I want it to happen so badly. Like you should all just head to the Philippines, I think, or maybe to China. I'm not sure if China or the Philippines would be better. Or maybe a third option entirely. So that's true. Even if they buy appliances and decorate this place with all this shit, they're just going to have to get rid of it. Like, they're going to have to actually throw it away later or just put stuff on it to say, like, throw it away. Uh, or, I mean, not or, and also, it's a waste of money. Like, we have a lot of money, but still. So, yeah, if they don't purchase anything, it's also bad. So, let's make a compromise. Here, purchases to a minimum. Only buy a couple things. So first off, gotta buy three beds. Like, you, you, you don't want to be sleeping on a fucking sleeping bag anymore. Or at least buy one bed and all sleep in the bed. <laughs> Let's just do that. One big bed. <laughs> so of course, we're not going to no appliance retailer getting the little points on our card. Oh, you want your double Yoshi dinky points? <laughs> what, we're not going to a place that's got a wide range of furniture either, all in one big showroom. Scandinavian to Oriental, modern country and beyond. Yeah, don't need anything like that. No giant furnishing store. So, going to like a thrift shop or something? Well, it doesn't get any customers this hour of the day. One with a terrible business sense. Hmm. Okay, so why? 
simply existing is nothing short of a miracle. Indeed, they are looking for a thrift store. Oh, okay, so it is a thrift store. I mean, maybe thrift stores don't do as well in Japan. Thrift stores do insanely well in America. Like, I would say plenty of thrift stores do better than, like, stores like this or, uh... Like, you know, this, like, store, I mean, uh, Adobayashi Dinky. Uh, your classic American, Adobayashi Dinky. <laughs> it sounds insane talking about this. But a store like this, you know, your, your points-based appliance retailer, uh, probably going to do pretty well, I feel like, in America. One of these kind of stores? Not so much, right? I mean, maybe I'm crazy here. What do you guys think? If you also, you know, live in America? I don't know why I'm acting like none of my, <laughs> anybody watching my videos is from America. But, um... Like, I feel like a lot of these stores go out of business, or like, you know, you go in them and there's like one customer there, versus you go in a thrift store at any time of day, anywhere, and that place is full of fucking people. It's, it's, and you know, and I live in a very rural place as well, so I don't think it's that weird, but maybe because I live in a rural place, there's more thrift stores to do very well? I don't know. I don't know. But either way. <laughs> we buy high, we sell low. Gotta hand it to you, manager, for putting such a, oh boy, gotta zoom in putting such a contradictory statement right front and center on your sign <laughs> the customers haven't even stepped inside you've already got them feeling confused with that wording what an awfully executed concept concept what we buy high we sell low what's what's hard what do you mean what is contradictory about that i mean i guess it is just like how do you make money because i do think like that is to be fair every time i go in a store like this and i see something like that i do go how do you make money if that's true that can't be true there's no way that's true not a single customer in sight. I guess thrift stores must do pretty poorly in Japan. I would not have expected that. But also, I kind of want to zoom in and look at uh, this. It's like, sell to us, pay at the register. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is also not a thrift store I've ever been to. I've never been to a thrift store that has this kind of shit. Like, this many of it? Like, there might be like one cabinet there, maybe like five cabinets at most, like five tables at most. And those are for like the really big ones that are like a giant fucking warehouse. But there's plenty of them that are like a small building that have like, yeah, this shit in the back, but none of this stuff. This is actually pretty damn big for a thrift store. So I imagine it's more of a like, I mean, it also seems more, a little bit more corporate, but uh, like it also has like opening doors, right? Like the big like ching ching kind of opening doors. <laughs> oh no, there's no, there's no staff. It's quite the empty place. Oh, come across yet another quirky establishment. <laughs> so much of Part 6 is quirky establishments. But, uh, yeah, I, this is so foreign to me. I, I have no, uh, I can't relate to this at all. But, uh, I'm, I'm excited to see it nonetheless. Because I do love thrift stores, but can, cannot relate to this. Like, I can relate to this of, like, the, hey, where's the staff? Where's the manager? At many normal stores, I can walk into a 7-Eleven and half the time be like, uh, is, any, is anybody working here? There's there's nobody in the store, not even a manager or a staff member or anybody? And it's like, oh, they were, like, in the back. But, you know, I, I've experienced that many times. But that's also because I live in a rural area, you know. But it's, again, it's crazy that the thrift stores are always popping, but I can go in a grocery store half the time and it's empty. Depends on the grocery store, but... <laughs> okay, just laying down, sleeping. All right. Is this person just... Uh, is this the, the Karata that owned the store? <laughs> With that, the, the fucking uh, thing over his face as well. And in a full... I guess that's a uniform, maybe. <laughs> he looks dead. We have a corpse on our hands. Call the police. No, 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 no. It's fine. And yet, don't you go call the cops. Also, Kaiju, why would you call the cops? Oh, this is an old guy. <laughs> But yeah, who, what's this quirky individual? I am playing dead. <laughs> I love that he puts a cigarette in his little, like, tooth missing area there. Oh, if I smoked, I would never, if I smoked cigarettes, I would definitely do that. Smoke a little bit of that gunji. <laughs> what is wrong with me today? Is it glaringly bright in here? I guess they got, like, the, the big store lights on or everything like that, so. Yeah. Man, how much do you pay for just the power to a place like this? Like, that's what I think for, like, you know, like, if I enter, like, a 7-Eleven that's got nobody fucking in it, I'm like, how much is, like, is corporate losing money on this? But at least I know these stores can be up and running, even if they have no customers, because it's a giant corporation like 7-Eleven, versus, like, you know, if it's Joe's Thrift Shop, then Joe is either going to have enough money to keep, like, there's going to be enough customers to keep that thing running, or it's not. It's not like this, where it's just like, how do you, how are you keeping this going? So, okay, this is a 
no refunds, no haggling. Like, that's definitely, you know, very different. I mean, that's very particular to this thrift store, I imagine, because the big thrift store thing is haggling. You want a bargain. Hmm. Okay, cool. That's actually really handy. So there's a bunch of extension cords. So if you want to see if something works, plug it in, give it a whirl. <laughs> That's your job. I mean, fair enough. Literally, that is your job. But at the same time, I would appreciate not having to bring everything up to the counter and be like, does this work? Does this work? Does this work? I would appreciate being able to do it myself. I honestly appreciate this. <laughs> Dimwit, they work fine. Everyone out of 100 or so does at least. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. Isn't the story sketchy? Sure, but so are we. Yeah, you can check for ourselves. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, <laughs> go into another store, take time and effort. That's just true about anything. Okay, find the price mark for the item. What you see is what you pay. But that's really only the price of the item itself. If you need it moved somewhere, then it'll cost you extra. Okay, yeah, we're good on that, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you shouldn't be buying shit from a thrift store if you need to move to you anyway. That's insane. Go to a big department store if you need that. Who are these people? Japan. No wonder nobody goes to thrift stores if you expect this much. Like, going into a thrift store should have the vibe of you're walking into somebody's house and they're like, yeah, I guess if you pay me $5, I'll give you that. That's the vibe of a thrift store. <laughs> At least over here. You know? There's no, like... I mean, the fact that he has, like, a, a cash register area like this that isn't just, like, I just found a table and set it up. Like, this place is so nice. So insanely, insanely nice. If, if I am not, like, having to actually sift through garbage, it's not a good thrift store. <laughs> okay, testing out. Okay, this fridge works. It's a nice size. Yeah, you know, it's pretty small, but, you know, they're not going to be doing too much, so I don't think they're like, they'll make regular trips and stuff like that. It's not that bad. I also appreciate... Thank you! I don't know how you're not mentioned it yet, but Kaiji Chang and Mario wearing their masks while shopping. Uh, unbelievable. I, I love this so much. I, again, it's Japan, so this is just an extremely common thing, and also they want to hide their identities. But it's still so nice to see it so regular, you know, regular and, and stuff before... Like, how do I put this? In manga, I don't see a lot of people wearing masks all the time. Um, you see any normal footage of Japan, that's a big thing. But for some reason, it's not represented in manga that much. Uh, but, uh, I, I always, you know, I, I'm gonna be wearing masks for the rest of my life. Even if the pandemic was like, literally there's no physical possible way for you to catch COVID, I would still wear a mask every time I go outside now, just because, why wouldn't I? I don't get sick really anymore. And like, you know, it's just, it's just much, much, much better. It's always been better. I just never realized its benefits till now. Um... But yeah, uh, also, uh, Mario he got a new shirt here. He, I don't think I commented on it before. I was looking for a bigger panel to comment on it, but he's already changed. So he had his, like, Ubuntu... What was this uh, shirt before? I don't remember what it was. It was like a, a swordfish, but it said something that I don't think anybody was ever, ever able to translate into anything. But it was something. He had a, a swordfish on it. Then he had a dog, and it said, like, reach. Like, big stretch, I guess, but just reach. Uh, but now he's got on a cat with floppy ears and a big floppa. <laughs> Uh, this one looks the most like this is just a picture of a cat. Fukuna didn't draw that He just took a picture of a cat threw it on the shirt floppa. That's it. Okay, <laughs> but I do love Mario's shirts Meanwhile, Kaiji's still wearing his society sus shy sus society shirt I don't know what this means. It feels like Kaiji's so full of 2020 references, but it can't be a sus shirt oh. But okay, yeah, here's our trolley. Yeah, makes sense. Why didn't he say anything? Well, that's just the way this guy is. Just bad with communicating with people. Yeah. What a crippling flaw. I don't know. It seems fine. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Just get the ultimate form of self-service. You do all the work. He just offers silent support. Yeah. I mean, that's how I am on most customer service jobs. I mean, the only one I've ever had. But still, that's how I did every aspect of that job was, eh, I'm just going to let you do this, and I'll just give you silent support. <laughs> the customer is always right, and the customer is always the one who's going to do it. <laughs> yeah, can you even call this customer service? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it works good for them. Yeah. And damn, they are lifting this actually pretty damn easily. I mean, they don't have anything in it, but still, a fridge is fucking heavy. So, okay, what do you get next? You get a fridge. So I've actually been doing a lot of home decorating recently as well. Um... What do you get? What do you get? You get the fridge. Gotta get a microwave. 
absolutely got to get a microwave. Maybe get, I would say get an air fryer, but honestly, if you want to go a little bit cheaper, get it, get a fucking, um, uh, hot stove thingy. What the fuck is that called? A hot plate? Yeah, get a, get a hot plate. Get a, get a microwave, get a hot plate. Um, I would say get three beds or get a big bed. Something like that. Um, I would say get a blender. Get a blender because if you don't have an oven, um, you know, we can, you can make a lot of stuff in the microwave as well, but you could also get a lot of vegetables, blend that shit up, drink it, get a lot of your nutrients that way. That'd be very good. Um, so I would say blender, microwave, a hot plate. Um, what else? Silverware. You need silverware uh, or it's like some chopsticks, I guess. Um, it seems they probably already have that and you can get chopsticks pretty easily, I guess. So it's not actually as important as it is in America to get silverware. Um, or I mean, I, I don't even get silver. I would get plasticware. Plasticware is much better than silverware. Um, and then you don't, it's not as expensive. You don't feel bad about throwing it away. So, but, um, I mean, you might need, you need like a fucking, uh, spoon for soup at least. So get at least spoons, a knife, you know, I, I, you, you can't use chopsticks for everything. Um, what else? What else? Uh, get your basics, salt and pepper. Gotta get some salt and pepper, but the groceries are a separate thing. I imagine groceries are a separate thing. Uh, appliances, appliances. What else do you need? Uh, what, what is it? What, what, sorry, what? <laughs> I know it's such a weird question to ask. What is it? What season is it, I meant to ask? Um, cause then you might want a heater or an AC, but the house probably has its own AC and heat, maybe. Um, it was an older house, right? So it maybe does, maybe doesn't. Uh, Japan's not that bad, especially in the city, as far as I know. Climate-wise, you can adjust it by just, like, opening up some windows and stuff like that. Like, I don't think anybody in Britain even needs, like, AC and shit, so. Um, yeah. Maybe you don't need an AC or heater. But, uh, a, a heater might just be nice in general, because there's just some nights where you want a heater. Um, any other appliances? What other appliances do you need? Like, a small TV might be nice to pass the damn time. A small, little TV. You don't need anything fancy, you know. Especially, this is the 90s. Get a, get a you know, shitty... <laughs> you're not going to get a good TV, so get a TV in the 90s. But get one of the small ones instead of one of the giant fucking ones, <laughs> you know. I guess they all had huge-ass fucking TVs in the 90s. Um, what else would you get? A radio? A radio, I would. Um, I would also invest in a police scanner. Um, but, uh, you can't get that at a place like this, but I would also, they should look into something like that, police scanner. Um, but I don't think the police are going to be on them, though, so that might not actually help them very much. But, like, walkie-talkies. You guys should get walkie-talkies. Well, we have the cell phones, but a walkie-talkie is quicker. You know? I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, I think you're pretty much good on that. A rice cooker. You gotta get a rice cooker, of course. you Japanese. Gotta get a rice cooker. <laughs> um... I think that's it. There's not a whole lot of appliances they need. Oh, washer and dryer, I assume. Is this is this what that is? Just a washer and dryer in both? Or is this two separate wash, like a washer and a dryer? Hard to tell. Like the, yeah, the buttons and stuff look a little bit different. That looks a little bit different, but it's hard to truly tell. So, and then, uh, really, I, I think you guys are going a bit overboard. You guys are here? Okay, hold on, hold on, guys. Guys, 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 guys. Guys. <laughs> I think we're going a little bit overboard here. Do we need this? This is enormous. What are you gonna put on this? What? This isn't even like a, for your clothes. This is like for dishes and stuff. Why do you need that? I thought I was going like extremely light, and they're going crazy. What is this thing? Is this a rice cooker? Maybe the the microwave and some uh, pillows. I get that. Coffee table, sure. But this thing, this thing is unneeded, right? It's gotta be unneeded. So yeah, that was only one. So washer and dryer, I assume. Hmm. Okay, so. Yeah, this is all it is. So, okay, give us a quick total, and <laughs> gets on the floor to write it down. All right. Hmm. Odd, more than we calculated. So, hmm. Refrigerator, about 16, 15, 6, 5. So, hmm. What's not adding up here? Uh, the roll. Oh, my God, the roll fee for the fucking thing. Oh, my God, he's going to charge us for that. Wow, wow. And uh, all these cushions, 2000 Jesus Christ. A pot and a vat. What was a vat? What? A pot and a vat? Excuse me. Did we get a pot somewhere? And is that the vat? What is the vat? 
Excuse me, what's a VAT? <laughs> but okay, so the roll. VAT here stands for, oh, value added tax. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, but what exactly is this roll supposed to be? Transport will cost you extra. Oh my god, this fucking man. Now, to be fair, this is 2,000 yen. This is nothing. We can pay this. Don't make a big deal about this. But this is so annoying. It's it's the fucking, it's the, it's the, the fucking matter of fact thing. You know, it's the, it's the, whatever the word for that is, you know. 500 yen per trip. What, you fucking wear and tear your thing is 500 yen per trip? You're insane. Insane. It doesn't this weigh on your conscience a bit? Not a smidge. Oh my god. Just fine, just pay it, this fucking guy. Yeah, what an asshole. <laughs> Yeah, just rolls along with that scam, huh? But um, you got it. You still got it, Chang. But okay, still need a sofa and a bookcase. Do you, okay, you guys said, guys, let's keep it to the bare minimum. You're insane, you're insane. So what was the pot then? Hold on, so the, the vat was that. Uh, so the refrigerator, the washing machine, the table, the microwave, the cupboard, the pot. So I guess that was just, the, the rice cooker is just called a pot. Like that just was a pot to put stuff in. Okay, okay, weird, weird, but okay, so we still need a sofa, I don't, a TV, sure, that's a bigger TV than you need, guys, come on, a cabinet to put the TV on, really, you need a TV stand? So, yeah, a chopping board, a, a knife, a pan, a pot, a cooker, a, a, that's the rice cooker, that's also like a cooker sort of thing, um, and a bunch of other things, I, do, okay, okay. This is too much. This is too much. This is too much. Okay, first of all, you need the pot and you need this. You don't need this. Put this on top of the pot and you have the same thing as this is. That's it. You don't need this one. You don't need that one. The rice cooker, sure. I get that. Get the rice cooker. Chopping board and a, and a knife, sure. A little bit of utensils. Chopsticks or, you know, spoons and stuff like that too. A little bit of stuff like that. Sure. I understand that. Then... Um, the microwave, you already have inside the damn camper van, actually. We didn't even need the microwave. We already have a microwave. Take the microwave out of the camper van, or if you can't take it out, go into the damn camper van when you need to microwave something. Now, you know, whatever. You can buy a microwave. It's not that expensive. But still, if we're trying to get the least amount of shit, you know, uh, sofa is fine. Bookcase, absolutely fucking not. Your fucking, like, armor that you bought? No. Why, why do you buy that? You crazy. Uh, it's nice for them because the house is going to look nice, but still. Okay, yeah. Going somewhere else next time. Ah, oh, guys, just having a really good time shopping, living a normal life with these guys. Also, no, so that was the that was the microwave on the back here. Okay, so they don't have a microwave in the car. But this is just such a good time. Oh, we're gonna go there again. Clearly, we should buy all our stuff from there. What do you mean, Gaiji? What do you mean? I don't follow. A month or two down the line, I'll probably still be able to recall that three men went in to buy some appliances at a thrift store. Kaiji is so hyper fucking worried about everything that, oh, he's gonna be worried they went into a thrift store without much thought started buying stuff. You're insane, Kaiji. That's so normal. It's so normal. So, okay. He's just saying the less places we go to buy stuff from, the less chance we have of Tai narrowing down our location. The more chores to go to, the more he can, like, triangulate us, almost. Like, triangulate the city, at least. Chang makes a good point, though. Like, if they're gonna go to every thrift store anyway, they're gonna eventually find out anyway. But I think it's like, you know, you don't want it to be in multiple locations. Okay, fair enough. So it's like, it's three people saying, yeah, I saw them, yeah, I saw them, yeah, I saw them, versus one person going, yeah, I saw them, and it's this guy... So yeah, like I do think that's that's very Indo as well. Like, I don't think Indo would let it go, but it would be the kind of thing of like, always in the back of your head, you're gonna doubt a little bit. Like, is this guy just saying this to make us go away? So yeah, this makes sense. All in all, it was just one negative reason I had for choosing that old man's store. What do you mean? Negative reason? I actually have another more positive reason for choosing that store in particular. Hmm, I haven't thought it ever very much. Still investigating whether or not we should take action on it or not. Huh? Hmm, I'll tell you when it's ready until it's a secret. No, not the secrets. But okay, so, back to the house. 
Oh, and Mario changed back to his Reach shirt. Okay. How? Wait, what? But you were, but we were just in the store, and you had, oh, and you have it on here. How did you, when, when did you change shirts? Now I want to go back. What, Mario, when did you, when did you change shirts? When did he change? Okay, so this wasn't a shirt he actually was wearing. Never mind. So this is just the Reach shirt, and... Whoever fucking uh, Fukumoto crazy just fucking edited this to have a this on it. So that explains why this looks so low detail. And I did think this text, I, I was like, this text looks so much like it's just types that on here. But okay, that explains it. That explains it. Wh why? Why? Who did this? What was the point of that? God damn it. I hate you. So okay, back in here once more. But now he's like, oh, these guys. Oh, he's just avoiding us. Just, what are they scheming, those guys? But now we're definitely gonna stand up to this guy. He went and hide. <sighs> yeah, just let him be, let him be. This guy. Are they here to rob me? Oh my god. And they're writing down the license plates. This guy is the fucking worst. This guy is the fucking worst. Great, and now Tai's gonna come. He's gonna have our fucking license plate written down. This was a bad idea, but how could we ever guess that this guy was gonna write down a fucking license plate? He's watching for signs of theft, shoplifting, swiping, pilfering, snatching, filching too. <sighs> you make takoyaki. Yeah, we're not gonna make any takoyaki, Wario. <laughs> then what about this? Yeah, blender's nice. Yeah, nice fresh fruit juice. Yeah. No, come on! You need fruit juice. That's good for your body. Okay, then this one. Make cotton candy. It's been years since the last time I actually ate cotton candy. Oh, I thought he was about to yell at him, but no. But no, yeah. Not wasting money on that stuff. I would say definitely get the fucking blender, though. You can do a lot with a blender. Alright, so this is the rice cooker. So, before, they didn't have a rice cooker. What was the pot used for, then? Hot plate? Yeah, yeah. We need one of those. Yes. What's Mario got in his arms? Mario, what do you got in your arms there, buddy? What is that? So, uh, pressure cooker. Okay. Actually, really useful. Fine, but it barely makes the cut. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> sorry. Um, yeah, so, like, if this is our pressure cooker, yeah, get a pressure cooker, but what was the shit we got before? Uh, an ice shaver? Mario! <laughs> those eyes, though. Those eyes. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mario, but you gotta wait. It's a little bit longer. Gotta keep the purchase to a minimum. But Kaiji, you're at fault too. You let Mario get a fucking ice maker if you were gonna get the goddamn armoire. Hmm. Blow dryer, not really necessary. Hmm. Even so, why are they always standing so close to each other? If they're planning to steal something, wouldn't it be better for them to split up and move separately? Okay, I see. Oh, I was wondering where he was going with that. <laughs> But okay, so he's, he's actually thinking. They're not planning to steal anything. That's good. I can't believe they're not so annoyed by him just watching over them. That's so fucking annoying whenever somebody's just following you around the damn store. But okay. So, no, we don't need any more. We already got that. We already got that shit, guys. We already got that shit. You already got that. Well, no, no. They said we needed this. We didn't get it. Right, 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 right. But still, a pan and one pot. That's all you need. Yeah, so he is self-aware that, like, why would they ever come back to the store? They should hate me. But that's why you got to run a better store, dude, if you want actual return customers. <laughs> Are these sort of American burglaries the fad nowadays? Just walking right out with the items. <sighs> He's still so suspicious of us. Like, what do you mean you're buying this stuff? <sighs> Aw, a TV with all this stuff. Hmm. But, look at me, lost in a daydream. Could it be that they're not here to steal and instead plan to leave my merchandise near the entrance and run off just to pester me? <sighs> that is honestly a good, uh, that's a good like way to get back at the other guy. I, it's obviously not what they're doing, but it's a good way to get back. All right, bring us the trolley. All right, yep, we know, okay. All right, so we're still gonna use the trolley and everything. I would not use the trolley, but Kaiji's got a plan. You don't need a bookcase, you idiots! You don't need a fucking bookcase! <sighs> okay, total it up, buddy, total it up. 
Those are the faces of anger, yeah, but I mean, I, I, truly, I don't have an explanation for why we're doing this either. Like, a, as a normal person, he's right. This is crazy. It's our cir special circumstance of why we're coming back here, but nobody else would come back here. Why are they doing this? This feels insane. He's so self-deprecating. For good reason. You're an awful human being. <sighs> All right, total it up. What is this? Hmm. Yeah, some really shabby things are buying. Hmm. Yeah, starting a new life, but it's true. Yeah, he's one of them. Like he knows he's, he works at their store. All these stuff they're buying, it feels like they don't really care what they're buying. Could be short on cash, but mm hmm. Still, yeah. Why are they buying all this shoddy stuff? Yeah, like this bookcase, the cupboard, and the table. Why? The colors, designs, materials don't even match. But also, just why? I mean, like he wouldn't know. But still, why? Okay, see, why? 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 <laughs> yeah. They know they don't need him very long. Hmm. Hmm. What is it? What is it? These guys. Hmm. Must be runaways. Okay, that's where he's going. So, so yeah, I mean, he, he is on to us. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, how long can we stay here? We're really going to live here? He's doing so much fucking profile, like, as he's just ringing up this shit. <sighs> And yeah, so now everything falls into place. Now he understands. Had no choice but to come back to the store. Mm-hmm. The more stores they visit, the more people would know. This guy is smart. He knows. He's running the thrift store. He fucking knows. Mm-hmm. Now he's just laughing to himself. They're like, what the fuck is this guy? I'm your only option. Come on, you should have said so sooner. I had you pinned all wrong. This guy is going to be like, and here's the I'm not going to squeal to the cops fee. This absolute fucking piece of shit. I don't like when things make no sense. But fair enough, like, I am always, you know, profiling. Like, I'm serving somebody meat at a deli. I'm still like, what's your life story? Let me try and figure this out just by the... Two seconds I've known you. Like, obviously, you know, I'm not gonna use that information. Like, I assume this guy's probably gonna fucking, you know, wring them dry because of this shit. But it's fun just to go, like, hmm, what is the deal here? Or, like, you know, why did you need this specific lunch meat that nobody ever really gets? Or, like, this amount? Like, hmm, I bet you have family coming down. And it's just even something simple like that. It's, it's fun to, you know, work in an environment like this to try and guess that stuff. So we did get the damn hair dryer. We did get the goddamn hair dryer. Unbelievable. You got a little wastebasket and a lamp. The wastebasket I can understand, but sure. But yeah, so the Yakuza or some religious entity, who knows? It is an enormous organization after them. This piece of shit knows. He's holding all the cards here. No matter how much you might hate me, I'm your only option holding that knife. Push comes to shove. I can always refuse to sell you anything. <sighs> yeah, refusing to sell would be pointless. Just gonna ring it up for a hell of a lot. But also, if they're not on the run, and you try and like blackmail them with this, then you are going to look like such a fool, and that's a that's gonna be illegal. They're gonna fucking call the cops on your ass. <laughs> He's trying to get us to buy drapery, really? Not only the curtains protecting the heat and cold, but without them, you have no privacy at all. The inside is always visible. That is honestly something we didn't think about, but now he's going to be like, yeah, buy some more shit that you never thought about, but you want for privacy. Hmm. So, okay, let's do that. Yes, yes, yes. Hell yeah. Plan on leaving it like this? What do you mean? Everything's scattered around the entrance. Someone will steal it all, take all of it inside. You can shop after that. Oh my god. What an asshole. Just put it in our truck. Put it in our damn camper van. Why do you make us bring it all back inside? Come on. Yeah, th there's no reason to do this. There's absolutely no reason. He's just being a fucking asshole. Just fucking doing it to toy with him. What an absolute piece of shit. Long ago, I was also forced to do something similar. What? At an old office building that had no elevator, he was ordered to transport some pamphlets and promotional items. Uh, and move them in. Okay. But, went to deliver them. Everybody's too busy. So. This guy looks just like fucking, um... Uh, you know, in Zero, the guy who was the father uh, in, in Zero Part 2, 
um, the, the, the father of uh, the whole like mystery coded message thing we were doing uh, looks just like that guy I, I, I always like to uh, point that out I, I know it's it might seem rude or whatever but I like seeing like just like oh cool that that design again there, there's something to you know Fukumoto only having a couple designs in him so he has to like really like make them work for each series and he can still have some very unique ones it's just when he wants a generic kind of person like this <laughs> So he brought him all up here, but now he's got to bring him all the way back downstairs. So got to bring him to the warehouse on the first floor, all the way back down there. Man, your back is probably fucking killing you. Don't see any warehouse. They just they just to fucking laugh at him. So is this like old school friends or something like that? <sighs> Jesus. So who is this guy? I guess he just works for this company. Like, you know, he's also an employee of this company. The, oh, I, I get this guy now. Like, I, I don't get why he's doing it to Kaiji and them, because they're fucking innocent, but I get why he has become as, like, curmudgeonly as he is. Oh, man. And this is, like, such, like, what era would this be? This would be, like, the... The... Maybe 70s, 80s? I feel like even that's maybe a little bit too old. Maybe in like the fucking 60s or 50s? How old is this? Because this guy now is like super... I guess he does look pretty old here, actually. No, 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 yeah. This was not that long ago. Like, I, I thought he actually looked very, very young. Um, oh, I thought this was him here. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I thought this was uh, uh, Karada here, but no, it was not. It was okay. Not that long ago, actually. This is probably like just the 80s. <sighs> but yeah, yeah, filled with murderous intent. I mean, how do you not? How do you not want to just go up there and throw him out the fucking window? Of course, of course, of course you feel this way. <sighs> mm-hmm. The concept of workplace harassment didn't exist yet. I mean, it existed. It just wasn't like, you know, it wasn't taken care of in the way it is nowadays, which is also still not very well, you know? Most of that shit is just protecting the company, not you. So yeah, they were just a client. Like yeah, they just knew him because they knew him. I guess he didn't work for them. They were just a client. Uh, thought just for the small thing that I. Oh, we're cutting back though. But I was gonna say like, what is it just? I wish I could murder them. What is it? And I was crying over that memory. Okay, so yeah, moved a little bit into, and they're not mad. <laughs> Look at those sparkles. But of course, anyone will worry about that. You didn't have to think hard to figure that out. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this guy is... I, I love this like new thing of like everybody's lives getting improved via Kaiji and the gang coming in. Not the kind of manga I would assume to be like that, but that's kind of been what's happening. Everybody's lives been slightly improving a little bit through Kaiji and them getting involved. Even like Kaiji's mom and stuff like that, you know, um... Uh, what's his fucking name? Uh, Sakazaki as well. Uh, yeah, but why are you like this? Just change, dude. Come on. You know, this is awful. This is a terrible place to be. True words never been spoken. Like, yeah, of course I hate it when these things happen to me too. But instead of being better, I keep doing it and pretending I regret it later. What a fucking asshole. Just pretending to regret it. Just wanting those self-pity points. But just continuing to do it over and over again. Oh my god. Just feeling the curtains against your skin. Mario with the leg of gay pose. This man is not straight. Absolutely not. Why do you have to take his mask off? To, I guess to rub his cheek up against it. <laughs> Mario got some drool on it. So we're going to have to buy this one. But yeah, it's fine, right? Normal curtains, so to speak, would be around the size of a window that goes from the floor all the way to one bit, one, a bit above one's head. Yeah, so just like that. Alright, no problem. Hmm. Yeah, amazing. Just how careless can someone be? They don't even know how many they have. Japanese style room? I don't know. So, most likely one, but just in case we'll take two. Okay. Didn't get it at all. Didn't get what? Now for the smaller ones, you just have a curtain. How many do you have? Hmm. Yeah, no point in even discussing it. You guys have no idea. So, okay, yeah. Go for about eight. Take your pick. 
Hmm, two different sizes for smaller windows. Especially blinds, so... Yeah, going for the bigger size? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so are we, we're just buying really shitty curtains, apparently. Like, oh, I, there are some curtains that are just absolutely awful. Hmm, they're greeted by that cruddy piece of work. Is it just that it's, you know, it looks like shit? Or what? Hmm. Okay, yeah, he's just really obsessed with the curtains being good. So, not that they're just, like, bad curtains, but, I mean, they're bad since they look ugly, I guess, but who cares? Now he's like, nah, there's no way they could have done something like running away with the profits or a, a front for an organization, which is b literally hitting the, the fucking bullseye. Tei is a front for an organization. Like, uh, or, I mean, it is a front organization, not... Uh, Tei is... I mean, this is true. Tei is a front... For Tei, but you know what I mean. It is a front for a crooked man's uh, slush fund, like. And also, we did run away with the profits. I mean, we did earn them, but you know, he's like, no, 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 they could never do something like that. Absolutely not. They'd have their own way of doing things. Mm -hmm. what, like what? Exploiting an unfair system, something like working overtime on holidays and not being paid for it, or when sales don't reach expectations and they have to pay the remainder out of their pockets. Jesus Christ! Yeah, talk about an unfair fucking system. Or a company with a mandatory 401k policy taking part of your paycheck against your will. I mean, that's not so bad because it's a 401k, but I also understand, you know, having autonomy over your money is definitely important. So, yeah. But you just said they probably wouldn't be able to do something like that. I, too, was once forced to put money into a savings for a company outing and never saw that money. Okay, never saw that money again. Yeah, that's fucking rough. But, okay, so how young was he here? Is he even one of these people? Oh, okay. So it's just like you put the money towards a company outing and then you didn't go on the company outing, so of course you didn't get the money back. Uh, but, like, it's it's fucked because you were forced to go. Like, that's that's fucking ridiculous. Because, yeah, if, if you're not planning on going, you shouldn't have to put the fucking money towards that. That's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. People with a low position, always getting abused by their higher-ups. They trick them. It's absurd. Just like you did to them. Not like in a, in a you know, business, or sorry, not in a, like, uh, you know, uh, you're higher-up. But you have authority over them, and then you forced them. You tricked them into the fucking scam with the cart. Now you're tricking them into this shit. Like, it's not like they're being tricked into anything, so we do need this stuff. I'm glad he brought it up. But I think some other shit's about to happen. But he recognizes, and I, I like that we're getting into this stuff. Because they do not hold in a position of authority, they are good people. Just downright, that's it. Like, the, you know, Kaiji goes into a lot of moral stuff. What makes someone a good person? What is someone's true nature at the end? Like, you know, that's Kaiji's whole thing. At the, you know, pushing someone to their absolute limit. What will they do? But then we have this guy, who is an absolute piece of shit, fair, but I like getting everybody's different perspectives on this. You know, even like Arima had a different idea of what made someone a good person. Sakazaki has his own idea of what makes someone a good person. Everybody has a different idea of what makes you a good person. What is the moral thing to do? What is justified? What is not justified? You know, shit like that. Even going on the smallest stuff of like Ishitaka being like, Listen, anybody would make this mistake of thinking that you were an animal rapist kaiji. And then everybody being like, no, no they wouldn't. That's not a, 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 a justified thing. You can't say, oh, whoopsie, little mistake for that. Like, no. And then there's other stuff that would be excusable. Like, what is justified? What makes you a good person? Blah, blah, blah. All that is so fascinating. Because, like, this guy, from his perspective, would be Mitsuyama is a good person. Absolute piece of garbage Mitsuyama who killed Chang and Mario, you know, we saved them, but he was condemning them to death. He basically murdered them, but he is still a good person just by nature that, you know, he is not in a high position. He, you know, is not someone of authority. Like, uh, but at the same time he's saying, nor do they have such judgment or resourcefulness. So like, you know, Mitsuyama did not have the resourcefulness, but he did have the judgment. And also, like, in that position in the game, he was in a higher position. He, you know, had such judgment and resourcefulness. So, does that then make him a bad person because it was in that position? You know, who knows? But I think it's an interesting concept to bring up. Like, simply because they are not in a position of authority, does that make them good people? Just straight up. And then anything after that can be additional. Like, well, yeah, you're an asshole, but... 
you're still a good person because you can't be a bad person unless you are in a position of authority. That's it. I don't know if I agree with that. I'm going to straight up say I don't think I agree with that at all, but uh, I think that's a very fascinating perspective to have. And yeah, he is tackling this from a retail worker's perspective. 70 years, a decade of which has been as a retail worker, which is not that much. Like that's, you know, if you've been 70 years and only a decade has been in retail, it's not that bad. Um, especially because he's working retail now. So I would assume like he had a really good career then, now he's kind of working retail. Uh, but yeah, they're not deserving of any abuse. Yeah, they ran away. They ran away from the abuse. This is the revenge after escaping their retribution. Again, absolutely hit the nail on the head. Mm -hmm. The manager's deductions and, con um, and conjectures, uh, while not on the mark, isn't too far off. Pretty damn close. He barely, but surely, comes to an understanding. I, I really like this guy. He's yeah, he's very smart, very calculating, but in a, an interest, uh, you know, much more mundane way. Also, like two of those. Okay, just bigger curtains. Bedding. Hmm. Yeah, gonna need a futon. How did you not think about that? Okay, I don't want to buy a futon that somebody's already slept in, but uh, still. <laughs> don't be so picky. Uh, I mean, they haven't been used. They don't sell well because the designs are kind of out there. They're un unique, but they're not used. Okay, so maybe. Mm -hmm. Guessing you guys don't mind about the design. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, Chang. When you sleep, you close your eyes, and with your eyes closed, the design stops mattering. Ah, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> These... These two, these two, these two can just sit in a room and logic each other back and forth and just have a good fucking time. <sighs> okay, but yeah, so I didn't think about that, but yeah, futon would probably be better than a bed. I've slept on futon for like five years straight, so, you know, futon's not great for the long term, but it's, it's decent. I mean, plenty of Japanese people just sleep on a futon to begin with. What am I talking about? For, you know, their whole damn life, so might as well. <laughs> yeah, can't see a design like this, but that's the point, so I hope somebody can buy it. But okay, yeah. So yeah, don't buy based on design, based on how it feels. Then you'll open it up and be like, what the fuck? Is it going to be like a crazy, like, I'm imagining it's going to look like a very 70s sort of stuff. But I don't know how Japan looks in the 70s. So, I don't know if I could really say. But okay. They all got their pick. Nice. And hey, he's making an exception for us. No more just self-service. He's actually helping us out. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, put it all in. Yeah, so this thing would be nice to hold all of our linens and all that sort of shit. Like, I didn't realize how much we were getting here, but, like, I understand it's three months, but I think you guys don't understand how quickly three months goes by. You really don't need the vast majority of the shit. You really, really, really don't need it. Because, again, we're gonna, we should be getting another house in a couple months anyway and have to do all the shit over again, just in another, another country. Oh, and he took off the... Uh, uh, the the roll fee, I guess. The fee for the roll, the dolly. Not this time. Bought a lot of things, so it's on the house. Oh, what a nice guy, you little stinker. You know you love us. But dolly, don't call me that. <laughs> All right, like finally breaking through bedrock, have at last come to a mutual understanding with the manager. Deep down, he was a good guy. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he might have been a little curmudgeon, a little bit of a stinker, but it's all worked out now. Hmm. Okay, you guys, stay a while and listen. What do you got to say? Once you don't need what you bought today anymore, I'm willing to take them back in. So bring them to me. Okay, cool. So we're going to get most of our money back. And so he's just going to say, like, I I know it all. Probably at night you managed to run. And he thinks this is, like, very, very recent. But probably at night you managed to run away. And are now being followed by some sort of troublesome organization, be it Yakuza or otherwise. Feel like they're hot on your trail. And before evacuating and moving somewhere else, first want to get rid of what you had in the old place. Then feel free to bring it back, what you bought today. Okay, nice, nice, nice. And he was right on the money after two or three months. Take them back for 70% of what you paid. Nice. Yeah, this is bad business, I'll have you know. You'll never see another offer like, offer like this in my industry. Very true. But okay. Use that money for... Oh, yeah, you use that money as funds for your escape. Nice. Thank you, dude. Seriously, you are amazing. <laughs> Stop calling him Dolly. He's not Dolly. Dolly, Dolly. <laughs> <sighs> All right, he's 
Coming to go to the change. Oh my god, yeah, the image changed entirely. Kaiji, what was your secret plan? Was this it? Just be nicer? Like, we weren't mean to him before. What was your plan? Hmm. So Kaiji clocked it, knew he was a good person the whole time. That's a lie, we both know it. No, I'm serious. A bad guy is the type of person that does bad things. And tries to look nice on top of it. Yeah, that's true. But... He seemed restless about it. In other words, he was str like he wanted to be this kind of person, but he is this kind of person. He wants to charge you the roll fee and be the asshole, but he hates it. But at the same time, he admits he just pretended to be that way. But we don't know that. Kaiji doesn't know that, rather. But um, we, the audience, know. He was just pretending. But still, the conscience was nagging him. Even though he was saying he was pretending, he wasn't, though. That's true. Even though he was saying that, that's not actually what it was. A change of heart. Now it just seems like some secluded curmudgeon. Yep. Just like what seemed to be a wild chicken turned out to be more like a newborn chicken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah not quite that far, but still. Hmm. All right. Positive plan. Start. Dolly might not be entirely clean, but at the end of the day, what really matters is, at his core, he's pure. I'll put my trust in that. So now, we're going to Arima this guy, essentially, in terms of, like, here's our number. Give us a call if Tei ever comes by. You are great. I love that we are setting up our own networking system. So, okay, here's our change. And what? I'd much rather you keep that for yourself. Why is that? Hmm. It's a whole 8,000 yen and then some. Yeah, it's quite a bit. But, yeah, that's... Payment for a favor. So, okay, yeah. First off, you should also say, if Tei comes, don't say anything. Not just, if Tei comes, call us. But, uh, yeah, also, please don't tell them anything. And yeah, Chang does not trust this, but Kaiji is an empathetic guy. He understands, in order to get ahead in life, you gotta trust other people. And as much as Kaiji has paid dearly for that, he has never let it get to him. He still trusts. He still trusts Arima. He still trusts Sakazaki. He still trusts the two gay campers. He still trusts this guy, Karada. Or Dolly. Uh, I, I appreciate that Ka Kaiji has never lost that sense of trust. No matter how badly it's fucked him over in the past. And yeah, this guy's like, how fucking stupid can you be? You're really going out on a limb like this. You think I won't just sell you out? But we know you're a good person. You're not going to do this. We are taking a chance on you. Yeah, all he's got to do is call us out somewhere, and you're done for. You get a lot of money. But putting your trust in a guy like me. Yes, sir, we are. Putting our trust in you. What's your name? You know your own name, don't you? But, uh, I'm called Tokyo Taro. <laughs> What a crap fake identity. Awful, awful. Literally anything would have been better than Tokyo Taro. <sighs> but yeah, we don't really need to know your name. It's fine. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll let you know if they come by. Thank you so much. Seriously, dude, this is so much. This means a lot. This means so, so much. Hmm? Is this his card? Okay. Pursuers corner you in such a way that you have to escape immediately. We won't be able to, but if you have the chance to, feel free to bring back what you. Mm hmm. Uh. Okay. Wait. What did we read that again? Okay. He's just saying like, if you have the chance, like, yeah, this might happen. But if you actually have the chance to bring it all back, then here's my card. Let me know because sometimes they do close the shop. So okay. Mr. Karada Dolly. Okay. His last name is actually Dolly. Unbelievable. It really is Dolly. It really is. His name really was Dolly. Dolly rolls on board. All right, we're just calling him Dolly from now on. But okay, cool. Dolly got you in our pocket now. I mean, that sounds weird, but you know, like, we trust you. You got our back. Let me let my dog out real quick. And yeah, that was the positive plan we were working on. Such a good idea that our positive plan was to get him on our side. That's like, I never would have thought about that, but yeah. The more people we have on our side, the better. So, okay. Now we got a bunch of, like, cows with bells on them. Like, if anything starts to happen, we'll know. Because those bells will start ding, 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 ding.
Oh, no, he's talking about ropes around that have the bells attached to them, not the cows themselves. That way, yeah, if anything gets close and the bell rings, lets the cowboys know the impending danger, and shoot those coyotes. But to be fair, Chang, I'm surprised you're saying this, because the more people, the more dangerous. Like, you, can, you can't trust that many people. I, I know trust is important, but it's not like you can trust everybody. But no, 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 no. If you go to, like, three thrift stores, and we'd also have to get on their good terms, and they're not quite like that guy, we need quirky people. People that, like, you know, would trust us. Yeah, can't just trust everybody that we meet. Yeah, the other ones are more friendly, going to communicate with other businesses, and are more, like, you know, safe about everything. Like, and again, the money is a huge deterring factor. You gotta know that their moral compass is strong. Or that they want to, like, in Karada or Dolly's case, uh, even if the money is very enticing to him and he doesn't have a great moral compass, I think that, you know, he wants to prove to himself that he could do something like this, and that's the thing we're, we're latching on to. Hmm. So Chang's thinking, like, doesn't that go for Dolly too? Can we really trust him? You're being way too lenient with him. Yeah, but you don't understand. Like, this is the kind of guy who wants to prove himself. And this is a chance for him to prove himself in a big way. This is that, like, fantasy moment. This is the moment so many people wait for in their lives. The one big moment where they can go, See, I am a good person because I did this thing. Fair enough, also. If Taya gets the number, what are they going to do? Talk to us? Have a little sexting? You know, not much they can get from that. And yeah, of course, they show him a certain amount of money. The money is a big determining factor. Mm-hmm, but it's exactly it. So what do you mean by that? Dolly hates the bossy types, the controlling type. I don't see him siding with them. Even for a lot of money, he would throw it right in their face. And yeah, maybe he runs this store. Like, that's why he went from the job he, we saw him having to something like this. You know, something for the, the little guy. Even though he has a hard time actually sticking up with the little guy and instead just does the same shit to them in his mind. That's why he did it. Cycling is kind of like playing in the loser's brackets. What was once forsaken by somebody else, these items that were handed off and ended up here, Dolly may have a soft spot for these things. That's why he wants them back, too. I mean, if it is true, it's true, Chang. But yeah, who knows what he would do with even a little bit of cash. Anybody, no matter how much you want to talk about somebody, you don't know what they're going to do for some cash. Hmm, it'd be really easy to tell if he's just trying to get us out there. Eccentric misanthropist. I can never say that fucking word. Like Dolly would have no reason to ask us where we live. I don't think he even cares, honestly. Yeah, so it would be very suspicious if he did. Telling us there's new goods in the store? Yeah, we've never had anything that even resembles business talk with them. There's no, that'd be so weird. Yeah, we would know for sure. Yeah, so if he wants to sell us out, go ahead. We'll be on to ya. He is a safe, safe bet. Alright, we would see right through him no matter what. Moving on to the next stage. All right, this was a very fun little like buying chapter. Like, this is the moving in stuff. We're not quite in the house yet. We're still just moving into the house, but this is a fun little uh, side journey. I love getting to, you know, meet these people, learn a little bit more about them, these quirky establishments, these quirky characters. And we do have some of both. We have the quirky characters, and we also have the quirky establishments, even like where Kang, or Chang uh, stashed the car and everything like that. Um, yeah, I just love the quirkiness of Fukumoto now. Fukumoto is so much more into like the individual character stuff rather than like the gambling. He's kind of moving away from the gambling and more really interested in... Uh, the shit that I am the most fascinated by, which is just like, what if I was just buying something in a store and made a connection with somebody? What if, you know, I was on the run and had to do this sort of thing, like like the abandoned house or whatever? Like, uh, you know, there's very shit, but I, I specifically love the, like, it's so hard putting it into words, which is why it's so hard. This is my favorite series of all time, because I don't know how to put it into words. No, that was an exaggeration. It's not my favorite series of all time, but it's definitely top three, top five, very, very high up there. Um, but yeah, just the, the people you meet, the people you meet in life, and the kind of people you can meet and the kind of experiences you can get being on the run, being a loser, being the underdog being the kind of people that society looks down upon. Like, that's all the people we're meeting to. It's all of the friends that we're making are all people who are losers, all people who are the underdog. And so, you know, that is, is such a fun aspect of this. 
Um, yeah, I, I hope next uh, arc is them actually in the house having a good time. I want to see, you know, Mario being cute. I want to see Chang and Kaiji doing the big, like, oh, if we put the couch right here, then that gives us this perfect amount of space to run this way. If we need to all put, but what if we trip over this thing? Okay, no, let's rearrange the furniture this way. I just want shit like that, or like... The grocery shopping I'm interested in. What kind of groceries are they gonna get? I it's 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 a feeling that I get with no other series where I love the nitty gritty. No other series will get this for me. But any other series, I would be like, yeah, I'm interested. What are they getting grocery shop wise? Give me a list of everything they've bought. And this is the kind of series where it gives me a list of everything they've bought. I can't stress enough how much I love that shit in the series. Please leave me some comments. How do you guys like part six? Nobody ever leaves me any fucking comments anymore. But people are still watching this shit. So, you know. How do you guys feel about part six? What are you enjoying so much? Does this hit you in the in the right way that it hits me? Do you guys have that, like, just... I love this fucking longer. <laughs> I just love the, the, the moving in with... So, I, I don't... I can't, my words cannot... My, my words cannot get across how much I love they're just buying shit and moving into a house this is the best manga ever <laughs> okay that's it for this uh, check out some of my other series um, there's like an end card thing that comes up at the end of this video check out the playlist for those things or the videos or whatever uh, I've got a video coming out at some point that you guys are gonna like <laughs> but it's coming soon it's coming soon i don't know when it's gonna be made but i'll just say i'm making another manga music video but when's it gonna come out i don't know it's got a lot of work done to it but it's it still takes a lot of time um so until then see you guys for that Get the fuck out of here.